Hmm? <clears throat> uh, yeah, sorry, um, were you saying something? <laughs> right, uh, sorry, yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, just a, a busy day at the office, you could say. My head's all over the place, truth be told. <laughs> oh, no. It's nothing to worry about. I normally get like this right before any big project, you know. B well, yeah. Truth be told, I, I, I do have a rather large project that's been in the pipeline for quite some time. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> Despite the fantastic job that you've been doing uh, as a distraction to me, I'm still on track to, to complete a very large part of it very soon. Uh, in the next few days, actually. And uh, once this bit's done, uh, the, the, the project's more or less finished. It's, it's quite an achievement, if I do say so myself. I'm, I'm excited. Nervous? Oh god, yes. Nervous like you wouldn't believe, but, uh, excited. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're too kind. And truth be told, as much as you have been distracting me from my work, especially in the last few months, I kind of couldn't have done this without you. Well, I mean, <laughs> as much as you have been a distraction, you've also been motivation, I guess you could say. I was starting to, to peter a little bit, to, to lose my, my drive, lose my purpose. You know, it was just stagnating and, and having you, having, having someone to care about, someone to serve as motivation, you know, it, it really helped spur me, spur me on, keep me going, refocus me and remind me why I'm doing what I do. So, I suppose, <laughs> in a roundabout sort of way, this is just as much your achievement as it is mine. <laughs> Cheers. To us. And to a better world for all. Hmm? <laughs> oh, come on. That does not sound menacing. <laughs> Besides, you know me. I'm not even remotely interesting enough to be a villain, let alone some evil genius hoarding some doomsday machine. Then what is my project? Well, I am not really allowed to, to, to kiss and tell, you know, intellectual property and, and all that. But I suppose you could see it as a, a, a water purification enrichment machine, you know, and, and infuses all the right electrolytes and particles into, into any body of water that it's connected to. You know, that sort of thing. It could be used to purify wells in Africa or you know, clean up algae infestations in, in stagnant lakes, you know, or, or ponds. <laughs> what was that? I was right, it wasn't that interesting. Oh, <laughs> you cheeky sod. <laughs> but yes, it's true, I really am just some boring old lab geek hiding away in a darkened room looking at schematics and tinkering with electronics. What a glamorous life I lead, you do know how to pick your boyfriends well. <laughs> oh no, well. What about you? How have things been? You know, you have actually managed to keep your, your side of things quite quiet. And I, I, I don't mean just the obvious, you know, what with your uh, powers and all, but just your sort of life before me. You... Now I think about it, you just get me talking about myself. Oh, you are good. Right, okay, well, I'm not letting you get away from this. 
I need to know right here and right now. What's your favourite colour? See, this is why you have to ask the hard questions in the initial dating phase. I, I, I feel like I don't even know who you are anymore. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry, bad joke. No, but um, seriously, it's not that I don't like, trust you or anything because I, I, I do. But you know, it, it, it took quite a while of us getting to know each other for you to feel comfortable revealing such a big secret about yourself um, as you did the other night um, and I, I suppose I just wanted to give you the platform for you to share more you know I mean I mean for all I know your your job could be a cover your your friends could not be real you know you, like you, you could have had to invent this entire world, you know, appearance to, to, to show me on this on this first date, and I just wanted to give you the opportunity to, to let me know if anything was not true, or if the only lie was just that you're, you know, inhuman. <laughs> okay, well, where to start? Uh, where do you work, really? I mean, are you actually working where you where, where you said that you did? No. Okay. Um. And what do you do? You're a teacher. No, 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 it's, that's not shocking or hard to believe at all, it's just, I honestly wasn't expecting that from you. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, cool, a, a, a shaper of, of young minds, it's, um, okay, cool, and I'll take it, are you with, with, uh, with like a, a state funded school or private institution. Right, okay. Got you. Right. Alright, cool. And, um... Does, does that job require any sort of, like, use of your powers? Or is it something that you, you kind of have to hide? Hmm. And what are your powers, if you don't mind me asking? I, I don't think I ever actually crossed that question with you. I mean, of course, no, if, if, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to. I mean, I can imagine that, that being unregistered, as you've said that you are, you would have to work really hard on hiding those powers, so that wouldn't really be something that you would show off. So, if you don't want to tell me, then you don't have to, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little interested, a little curious, you know? Super strength, right? Okay, wow, starting off strong. I'm, um, <laughs> pun intended. No, that 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 makes sense. That explains a, 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 a lot, a, 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 a lot. <clears throat> no, 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 not that I'm I'm complaining at all. I'm quite the the opposite. Uh, <sighs> just be told, I just thought that perhaps I was slacking off in the gym, so that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> So, aside from, from super strength, were you, were you blessed with any other abilities? You know, besides the, the, the ability to, to make me turn as red as a tomato at, at, at your whim. Enhanced durability. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that totally makes sense. That, that completely explains how you managed to tank that shot from that, that big robot thing. <laughs> I, knew, I knew there was something special about you. I knew it! <clears throat> um, sorry, everyone. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry about that. Got a bit carried away. <laughs> it's just that, I mean, wow, super strength. 
enhanced durability. <laughs> I mean, even without any training, your your powers would still place you as like a solid B tier superhero, and and with even a little bit of training, you would easily pass for A tier. I mean, hell, if you if you were taken away as a kid and, and put through one of those hero academies, you, you could easily be a top table superhero. You could be at the, at the head of, of the hero association. You could be up there with, with the likes of, of Sunspot and Flashpoint and Stonehaven and Ultima. You could, you could be you, a, a, a god. <laughs> mm, but yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm getting awfully carried away. Uh, <laughs> It's just, you know, you seem like a really, really good person, and if you were a hero, if, if more heroes were like you, then, I don't know, maybe heroes would be super, and not just a profession that people with abilities are, are forced into, you know? Maybe... Superheroes would be a good thing. <laughs> but then again, I suppose you know my stance on the whole thing. Ugh, oh, but enough of that. We're not here to be miserable. You know, we're, we're here to celebrate. Six months together? I mean, if that's not an anniversary, I don't know what is. And I will not listen to any slander about how six months doesn't count, a year is the first anniversary to celebrate. Bollocks. This life is too short. We need to take every opportunity to celebrate, you know? <laughs> Besides, I've just found out my partner has super strength. Perhaps after dinner you could give me a demonstration. <laughs> Why, yes, I am flirting with you. How observant you are. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I went out of the way to pick up a little something. I know that we said no gifts, but... I... I I'm a filthy liar, what can I say? <laughs> Here. It is a necklace, yes. My god, you are sharp tonight. <laughs> I, I, I know you're not a fan of, of anything too flashy. Uh, so, I, I tried to, to, to find something a little bit more simple in design, but uh, the pendant at the end, it's, it's a symbol from where I grew up. It means love and hope. You, you know, you, you injected those qualities into my life, and so I wanted to give them back to you, in a way. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, if you don't like it, I'll, I'll take it back. I, I, I'm really sorry, I just, I've never done this before and, and I wanted to, to, to give you something from uh, the heart and... <clears throat> uh, yeah, sorry, shutting up. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on you now, yeah. <laughs> There you go. How do you look? <laughs> you look radiant. Stunning. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> you like it? <laughs> good, good. Great. <laughs> Um, mm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I, uh, well, you know, I, 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 I put my heart and soul into it, and and it looks great on you. And and is it, mm, is it hot in here, or is it just me? <laughs> I, I. Uh, oh, shit. No, no, it, it's, it's nothing. It's just my, my pager from work. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, see what they want. Oh, no, leave me alone for one night, for God's sake. No, 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 no. Shit. 
Hmm? Is everything okay? <sighs> Looking out for me as always. <laughs> yes, I'm going. Uh, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's uh, a crisis at the lab. I, I need to go. But I'll, I'll, I'll call you and I will come round as soon as the crisis is over and, and I will spend the rest of the weekend grovelling and trying to make it up to you, okay? I, I, I promise, okay? Oh, thank you so much for understanding. You are the best for not getting mad at me. I mwah, love you. Right, I will be back in a few hours, maybe a day tops and, and I, will, I will spoil you rotten. Okay? Thank you. than enough of that bloody alarm. Let me just see here. <laughs> Much better. <sighs> I do so hate working with inferior tech. <sighs> now, now, Mechanus. Just a few more minutes and you will have what we need. Hello, hero. Stay down, hero. Ah, Ultima. I was wondering when you were going to drop in. Now be honest, did Zeta catch you off guard? I can imagine so. After all, in your first encounter with him, he was a little bit more... heavy-handed. Well, he was simply getting used to his new form. Gathering data, so to speak. You see, the longer that he exists, the better he becomes. He improves. Evolves. Something that you heroes know very little about. <sighs> Though I suppose I can't entirely blame you. I mean, why would you feel the need to improve upon perfection? That's how your kind view yourselves, your heroes, as the definite article, the finished product. <laughs> you and the Hero Association drill that notion into them from the get-go. They don't even have a chance to believe otherwise. They are bred, believing that being heroes makes them better than everyone else. That makes them good. And perhaps at some point they were. An ordinary human with extraordinary abilities, now in a position where they can help people, where they can fight evil where they can make a difference. But despite all the power, all the influence, all the authority that a hero wields, we are supposed to believe that they are better than the evil they face for one simple reason. Heroes don't kill. You don't even carry weapons. 
But here's the truth, Ultima. Your association takes ordinary children and fashions them into weapons. Behold the next generation of heroes, child soldiers all grown up. I'm here to put an end to that. By this time tomorrow, your beloved hero association will be rubble and its members eradicated and all without me having to lift a finger <laughs> and the device that I take from here this evening will allow me to tailor my weapon of choice to the genetic makeup of your association's members I will hollow out your organization from the top down starting with taking out the most senior and corrupt of heroes. I will destroy anyone who encourages the training of youths into heroes, starting with your association, then the senior academics of your hero schools. <laughs> you look at me with such fire in your eyes, as if there is anything you can do to stop me. Well, you can't! Because the beauty of all of this is I don't even need to lift a finger. My weapon is not a laser or a robot. It's a pathogen. <laughs> it targets the genetic material that gives your kind your powers. It eats away at it. And the thing is, it's so ingrained into your DNA that once the pathogen has eaten it away, there is not enough left to keep your body going. It is a synthetic pathogen that feeds on hero DNA. And with the help of my water infusion device, I will make it waterborne. I will pump it through every pipe, every tap, every faucet in this city. And whilst completely harmless to any ordinary human, a single mouthful would be enough to kill anyone with inhuman DNA. But I am not a monster, hence why I'm here. Once I have taken the genetic sequencer from this vault, I will use it to program the virus to target only the genetic material of your association's members, starting at the top. Call it a last act of mercy, a professional courtesy. <laughs> Do you see, now, hero, there is nothing that you can do. <laughs> oh, you fool. Well, Ultima. It's been fun, but you can rest now. Your war is over. <laughs> Bold, but foolish. Seta. Engage Look at you, Ultima. A dying breed, an old dog, incapable of learning new tricks. Why can't you understand that Zeta is the future? He is stronger, he is faster, he is sharper, and he's kicking your ass. <laughs>
Enough. Oh, Ultima. Look at you. Beaten. Bloodied. Barely strong enough to lift your head off the floor. What am I to do with you? Kill them. Hmm? Kill them, Mechanus. Zeta, I... Unless you can't. Unless your little relationship has turned you soft. Made you weak. Are, are you questioning me? We are villains, Mechanus. And villains do not get sentimental. They do not fall in love. Villains exist only to accomplish their mission. And when heroes get in the way, villains kill them. I know what the mission is, Zeta. I- Do you? And here I was thinking you'd forgotten, in between all of your dinner dates and relaxing strolls in the park with your little... pet. <laughs> if you think I won't kill them, you're wrong. I... I just think that maybe we could unmask them first. See who they are. I... Of course you do. When did you become so weak, Mechanus? So... human? You are out of line, Zeta. If I want to kill them, I will walk up to them, grab them by the neck, and I will kill them. That... that necklace... Where... Where did you get this necklace? Ultima! Where did you get this necklace? Answer me! slightly too perfect, their face not slightly too familiar under the candlelight. Or maybe you did, deep down, and just didn't want to accept it. Pathetic. Uh, uh, but they say the truth will set you free, and if it doesn't, the death of our greatest enemy will surely suffice. No. You will not touch them, Zeta. Oh? That is an order. You continue to disappoint, Mechanus. We both know I am far above taking orders now. If you want to hurt them, you'll have to go through me. Fine. That's right. You can't. Because as much as you like to act like you're better than me, you're just a machine. My machine. And did you think I would make something as intelligent as you without installing a few fail-safes? Go on. Try and shoot me. Try and hurt me. You can't. But I can hurt you. You're a fool, Mechanus. It doesn't matter what you do. In their eyes, you will always be a villain. And villains don't get happy endings. I know. Goodbye, Zeta. Hmm? 
Hey, 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 look at me, look at me. I I'm going to get you somewhere safe, okay? It's going to be okay, just, just stay with me. No, 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 don't close your eyes, okay? Don't, don't close your eyes. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. U Ultima, Ultima, please stay with me, okay? Just stay with me. Ultima? Ultima? <laughs> I forgive you, Mechanus. After all, you are only human. And I will finish what we started. <laughs>